Well, here we go again. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, drink something. And today I'm going to be recovering something that we've had previously. Brewdog released a statement essentially apologising and more or less saying that they've basically completely changed the recipe. And they also blamed it on the Christmas staff, which was a bit not cool. How different is this? Now, apparently, they've added a lot of extra hops to this, uh, primarily Cascade, and this is version 2. So essentially, seeing as it is now a completely different beer, it warrants a revisit. So, let's crack on. If you've not watched the uh, initial video of this, by the way, you uh, probably should do that, because, uh, spoilers, it was crap. Okay, it's still got that dampness from before, but it does have more of a hop character to it now. It's got a bit more of a floral kind of a twang to it. It's not a million miles off of before, but there is more of a hop character to it. This is now definitely a pale ale, rather than some kind of a weird biscuity lager that it was before. We do still have a lot of that caramel hop kind of a biscuity malty aftertaste, but it plays better with what we've got here before. This is now a pale ale. Um, there's no... There's no doubt in my mind that this is now a pale ale, whereas before I was like, what is this? Yeah, they've ramped up the hops quite a bit, but again, it's just the bitterness that's coming through now. So there's not a lot of like fruit characteristic or anything in particular to say, hey, this is what I'm about. It's just kind of the hoppy bitterness. If this is trying to be an introduction to pale ales, it's not dreadful. It's a mild, hoppy, slightly bitter ale that's got a reminiscence of your more sort of commercial stuff. So it is that kind of go-between but there's not really any particular flavour characteristic that makes me want to go, ooh, this is great. If you want to try it, absolutely go for it, but uh, I'd still go for something else in their range if you're looking for a hoppy beer. Their Dead Pony Club is a perfectly good, palatable pale ale to get you started. Anyway, uh, thumb the video if you enjoyed it, uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos such as this, and I shall see you guys next time.